The traditional diet in Solomon Islands consisted of locally grown vegetables and fish. This has changed in recent decades. Today's typical diet is characterized by large amounts of carbohydrate staples like rice and noodles. There is now a heavy reliance on imported store-bought foods. Time before, you may go for local food. Even stakasiki em no come out here, no more. And studies have shown that from what the processed food when come, this them like sugary food or any kind of food, and maybe we tell finish inside the store. So I'm not coming bar of spoil him no body blue me, what human being. Beginning the time, I feed him him look like I lost store him say experience him or baby say sick and that is where a lot of malnutrition problem or sick you him related go or diet or to come to the hospital and stuck up beginning or cut a sick. Carbohydrates like rice and noodles do not contain adequate micronutrients that are essential for good health. These micronutrients can be found in animal source foods and fruits and vegetables. Beginning time him start for eating or healthy kaka and or local kaka from or the garden. Where he take him from garden, him him good for him help him body blow him for him not sicky like him protecting him from sick like or kaka or some or protective food and even or the energy food or take him from garden him good for uh, help him baby make him time baby him grow up make him body him strong and him fight him sick. Lack of access to land for gardening is a problem for some coastal lagoon dwellers. Me just advise him no more that those who are stay low, that places where no enough land, him good that you walk him no more, soup soup garden round him house like you uh, try for build him, uh, take him other food scraps like skin kumara and other cabbies or something or something. You just throw them together, leave him for time him uh, rotten. Then you start planting little bit cabbage blue or there, or shallot or tomatoes. Communities, even those with no land, are encouraged to grow small soup soup gardens around their homes with green vegetables. These gardens save families money and provide a nutritious food source. Me planting cabbage <laughs> and uh, yeah, making you know Western selling for fame. Uh, Kai kai kabis lo market of vegetables. Ni make em nara one two for vegetables. Just me wakem box finish. Then me take em ground. Then me start for plant. So him this start nara place. Me put him nara place for for full open ground finish. Then plant more. Instead for go prepare you take a lot side house no. But you take em free. Full open ground finish and free you prepare so you know West Ham start selling. It is becoming more common for people to sell their catch of marine fish at the market instead of eating it and use the money to buy processed foods instead. That the staple where well, uh, people are using before some kale or kumara before, kumara is no longer staple. One of the staple of the this time no more is rice. So, and it can be stored for a little bit long time too. So people mainly fish, catch fish, in order to sell to get rice and other store goods. Fish is an important source of lean protein essential fatty acids and micronutrients. We just like encourage him what our stay low lagoon, I mean no go sell him, then take him slend then him pay him low noodle or tie or sem. Him good that kakai lo see, him best kakai wa emi sa make him for uh picking in blame for kakai make him what a size stop healthy and bow for no sick. The CGIAR research program on aquatic agricultural systems works with Solomon Islanders who depend on agriculture and fisheries to ensure that fish contribute to good nutrition and food security into the future. <laughs>